Hi, today I'm going to make Bom Tit Ba Sao, which is vermicelli noodles with stir-fried beef. And um, the first thing you'll need to do is boil the noodles. And this is the brand that I like to use right here. This one. And you can see it costs $2.49. Um, this is a great brand to use. It's one of my favorites because you can use it for dry foods like goikung or um, in this case the bom tit ba sao. Or you can use it for soups like um, bom riu or just basically like goikung. Anything that, that requires noodles you can use this brand of um, noodles. Some noodles you can only use with dry foods like goikung or um, some noodles you can only use with soup. This this noodle you can use for both dry and with soups. Um, dry and wet. Okay, so I went ahead and I'm boiling a pot of water. I'm waiting for it to boil before I put the noodles in. And then next I'm going to um, uh, marinate the beef. And I have a package here of thinly sliced beef. Uh, it's already been thinly sliced for me. So all I need to do is marinate it. And this is what you'll need. Um, you need um, you need uh, some oil, right? Nuk mum, fish sauce, a little bit of um, nuk tung, uh, soy sauce. Uh, right here, frozen um, chopped lemongrass. You can use fresh if you want. You just have to mince it, chop it, and mince it. And then garlic. Um, oh, this is crushed peanuts, which I'm going to use later to garnish the, um, my bowl of noodles. And, oops, and, uh, dried shallots, fried shallots. That's on top of the noodles as well for garnishing. Um, so we need salt, black pepper, garlic salt, and then when we're ready to stir fry the beef, um, you'll add the... The garlic. I like to eat lots of garlic and uh, lemongrass. If you've seen my other videos, I put tons of that stuff in there. So you can always just, you know, use as much as you like. Probably half of what I used. And um, we'll need to slice the onions later. Um, and then, so let me go ahead and marinate the beef. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and opened um, my package of meat. And um, I've taken half of it out, and I've also tore the pieces in half, the meat in half, because I mean you can leave it as whole if you like, but I kind of like my meat a little bit smaller, so I just, you know, used my hand and just tore it in half and placed them all in here. Okay, now I'm gonna marinate the beef, and what you do is um, you add a little bit of fish sauce. And just eyeball it. I mean, just like you can, really. Oops. There we go. I kind of like it salty, so there we go. That's how I'm doing it. Then you add a little bit of uh, soy sauce. And just like one round of soy sauce. Come on, come on out. Don't be shy, okay? And then um, some garlic salt. I always like garlic salt and everything. A bit garlic salt, then a little bit black pepper, right. a little bit of rather salt, not a lot, just a little bit. Oh, I forgot my sugar. Hold on. Let me get my sugar here. Alright, you gotta add a little bit of sugar. So about this much is fine. Actually, a little bit less than this. So. Yeah, it's like half, half, a, half a spoon, okay? And then, ooh, my lemongrass. You know how much I love my lemongrass. <laughs> if you've seen my other videos, you'll know. I just bought a, a new um, a new thing of lemongrass because so, I ran out the last time I used it. Let's see, I like to use like this much. Actually, more than that, maybe two tablespoons. You can't go wrong with like lots of lemongrass. Seriously, it's just you know what? Maybe a little bit more. I mean, for you, you'll probably use like 
one spoon for, for me. I eat like two and a half. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just a preference, whatever you like. I might even use more because I really, it just really gives it a good flavor, the lemongrass. Mix it all up. mix and then just let, let it marinate. You don't have to marinate long it's beef. So, see I really like to coat my beef with lemongrass. Like really coat it. There we go. Let's give it a little bit more. Okay. And now we're just pretty much waiting for the noodles. To boil and it looks like it's gonna start boiling soon. Let's see, is that enough lemongrass for me? Yeah, that's enough. Hmm. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. I'm not gonna like go all crazy on it. I probably already have. Okay, so um yeah, let it marinate, and then later on we'll also need some oyster sauce when we cook it at the end. And this is just the brand that I use. I guess, to me, I think any brand's the same, but I guess people say, you know, they have their preference. Anyways. Alright, here we go. And here's the, here's the pot. It's almost boiling. I went ahead and opened the package. Um, you're not going to put the whole thing in because that's a lot. I'm just going to use half. Let's split it apart here. Half. There. And you have to watch your noodles. I mean, you can't go like put it in and go watch TV and then, you know, forget about it because your noodle will get overdone. It'll be too soft and you won't be able to eat it. Okay. So, hold on. Okay, so my water is boiling. Now I'm going to put the noodles into my pot. There we go. So I'm take half of it. I'm doing this with one hand. Okay. Alright, so I'll stick it in there. I'll give it a few minutes. Just let it sit. All you need to do is just let it sit for a while. And then let it boil for a few minutes. Okay. Okay, so you can see that the water is uh, boiling and the noodle is still um, a little hard. You see, so uh, just let it boil for about another minute and just, you guys keep checking your noodles. You see how it's doing. And then when it's almost done, you're going to put the lid on for one minute before you pour it out. You drain it. Okay, so let's keep checking. Okay, now you can see that the water is really boiling, so you want to um, lower the temperature. Just lower the temperature and let it simmer. Okay. Let's check it again and see how it's doing. Okay, and how you check it, you just take a piece and you actually eat it. So let me do that. Hmm, looks like it's... Um, Mm, probably one more minute. I'll let it simmer about one more minute. I'm gonna put it on maybe medium heat. Okay, and we'll check back again. I forgot earlier when I'm marinating the beef, you want to add a little bit of oil into the meat to make it. To, I always like to add oil to the meat because I think it um, makes the meat nice and soft when you go in and you um, fry it. So just kind of mix it up, mix the oil in there. Not a lot, you just need a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Oops, that's okay. And now we're just still wait, waiting for the um, the noodles to be done. And now we're going to drain it. Let me check it again. 
Do we want it to be a little bit boiling? So let me turn it up a little bit higher so it continues to boil. Okay, it looks like it's almost done. So let me check it one more time. You don't want to overdo your noodles because they'll be too soft and they'll break. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the fire and put the lid on for one minute before I drain it. Alright, so I just took the lid off the pot. It looks like um, the noodles are done. I'm going to take the noodles and I'm going to pour them into this uh, tub of cold water that I already have waiting. Okay, um, let's see if I can do it with one hand. <laughs> Give it a try. You know what? I can't. It's too heavy, so let me be back. Okay, so I went ahead to the pot and poured half of the water out. And then the bottom half of the noodles, I went ahead and put it in here. And it was the cold water. Okay, I'm just going to shake it. Put it around a little bit. And then, make sure that the water is still cold. Let me get over here because now once you put the um, noodles in, the water turns warm. So we move it over here. Okay. Oh, come on, let me bring the side. Just kind of rinse it in the cold water. Once you rinse it in the cold, you're going to rinse it again in the pot before you let it dry. And all that starch out. I just like to wash my noodles um, quite a bit because it's got all that starchy stuff on it. Okay. Put the noodles back in on this one. Back over here, and now I'm going to turn it to hot. And now we're going to run it underneath the hot water. So hot before you take it out. Alright, so we're going to go nice and hot now. And I can just let it dry. Get in little batches. Just hit like this little batches right here, like one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, done. I'll try to put it okay. okay. I'm gonna put the noodles. All right. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the noodles to dry. While we wait for the noodles to dry, I'm going to um wash all my vegetables which I have over here. I have my cilantro and all my cucumbers. And cucumbers. I'm gonna wash and I'm gonna chop all my vegetables. Um this is for the nook mum that I'm gonna make later. And then I have this. I don't know what's called in 
I think it's called, I don't know what it's called in, in English, but it's this, this type of herb. And then I've got this one here. Um, and then it's called Tieto in English. I think they call it, uh, I don't know what they call it. <laughs> I thought my mom's here. And then my bean sprout. Hey, can somebody open the door for grandma? My lettuce. Okay, and my green onions, which I'm going to put on top of my um, garnish later. I'll show you everything, how to do everything. Hold on. Okay, now we're going to make the ma'ahan. So my mom's going to do it for me. And she put, she just put some oil into the, the, the pot. Now we're just waiting for it to get hot. Three, three big spoon. Okay, and we already sliced up the green onions. Wait for hot. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just see the Okay, in the meantime, while um here's all my vegetables. Hey, cause excuse me. To me. Uh in the meantime, here are my vegetables. I already washed them all. And these are the three different vegetables I'm using. Oh also mint. I forgot the mint is outside in the my patio. I need to go and pick some and wash them. But I'm gonna add mint to that as well. And here's my lettuce that I uh, iceberg lettuce that I already washed and sliced. My bean spells, my cucumbers. I already sliced those up. Uh, we made the nuk mam jam. Oops, I got a little bit. Nuk mam jam. Um, and then we have the um, the sour uh, lotua, the sour daikon with carrot for garnishing. The um, chopped peanuts, roasted peanuts. The fried shallots. And we have the noodles. Everything's ready right now. All we're doing is the we're doing the ma'han to put on top. And this is optional. You don't need to have this. Wait for hot oil. I put this the white one first. Okay. You put the the end the the white end of the green onion in first before you put the other like the leaf, leafy side or I don't know what you call it the other end. Mm. Matthew, remember what I said? I'm doing YouTube right now. She's just added a little bit of salt in there. Oh. Hey, excuse me, you're on YouTube. Sorry. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Mm hmm and then put in. Put the rest of the green onions in once it always starts boiling hot again. Con quậy mà đi vô rồi á thì con cắt cái lửa. Coi như là nó bị thấm nóng rồi á. Uh -huh. And that's it. She just turned off the fire. Simple as that. Okay. And then you just leave it like that until you're ready to eat and just put it on top of your, garnish your bowl with it. Yeah. When you put your um, green onion with oil into your bowl, make sure you let the oil drip and just take the green onion out. Okay. You don't want to put oil into your, your food, right? Your, your noodles. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show, okay, now I'm going to show you how to cook the meat. Um, I'm not going to cook it all because you should just cook as much as you're going to eat. Because as soon as you cook it, you want to eat it right away. You don't want to leave it for a long time. It's not going to taste good. Just cook it and eat it. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil. And then add some garlic. So well, garlic and onion, you can add as much as you do like, but I kind of like a lot of garlic and onion, so I'm going to add a little bit of onion. It's not too good. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm going to add the meat. Okay, so here's the final result. I go ahead, I went ahead and put the noodles in um, on the bottom. Then I put the bean sprouts on top, the lettuce, all the herbs, and then I poured my meat on top. And then don't forget to add um, the mahan on top of your meat. Then I put some um, the sour uh, daikon with the carrots on top to gar all the garnish on top. And this is what it looks like. And then you're gonna pour some of the nuk mam cham on top. And then you can eat it. And this is what it looks like. Here we go. Let's pour some of this on top here. There we go. Like so. Let's see, you just pour it around. I kind of like to eat a lot of this stuff. And that's it. And you're done. That's how you make um, bom tit ba sap. Uh, vermicelli with stir fried beef. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click like, and I'll see you later, alligator. Thanks, bye.